Hi Aquarius, welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, I have uh, changed up the new love readings just a little tiny bit. It is still intended for singles, um, but now it is called the new love uh, reading instead of singles reading. So this is intended for people who are single, wondering when a possible no, new love may be coming into them, or their next relationship, or their next encounter whatever that may be, may be. You may have a connection with somebody um, and still be single, that's fine. Um, but if you do believe you have a connection with somebody, even though you may not be with them, I do offer love connection readings. Uh, all the um, April ones are up, actually May, April and May is up. So feel free to check those out too. Um, but this is intended for singles who want to know when the next person encounter, whatever here, uh, maybe coming into them so this is for that and this is for sun moon rising and venus male or female watching please only take it how you feel it resonates for you um and it could be possible i could pick up on something of the past present future energy also so please keep that in mind and we'll see what um we get here for you aquarius so i hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time so how I'm going to do this, Aquarius, <clears throat> excuse me, Aquarius, if you have watched my past readings, um, singles readings, my throat is just very uh, weird right now. Anyway, <clears throat> in those readings, I did um, get the energy for the person, and then we looked and clarified with that energy, and then I looked at like where and when you may meet them, where and how you may meet them. Um, when, like a time frame, and then what kind of connection it would be. So I changed it up a little bit, and you could tell me if you leave me a comment, if you prefer this style I'm doing or the other style, but we'll still look at their connect, their um, energy, and then we will look at the connection, uh, like how you may feel about one another, and then um, what challenges or blockages may be in the connection, and what the advice, guidance, or outcome could be and we'll look at like how you'll feel about each other too like when you meet and that kind of energy too so if you prefer this style over the other style I did uh, let me know leave me some comments all right so and we'll clarify all the energy with the tarot so the first thing I'm going to do here is pull all the oracle cards I'm going to pull one from each so with this deck here we'll get like what is their energy what kind of energy are they sitting in and then with this deck here we'll get like what is their spirit soul energy like and then we'll get this what kind of like energy do they have towards love? Um, I call it love energy. And then we'll combine that to get the energy of the person. And then we'll clarify more with the tarot. And then I'll guide you through the rest of the reading as I go. Also, um, Aquarius, you can check out the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Feel free. And if you're new, want, want to subscribe and hit the bell, be greatly appreciated. And you get about four or five readings, a, four or five readings a month. Yeah. Maybe this person will leave you tongue-tied. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, so for Aquarius. New love, Aquarius singles. What is the energy? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. What is the energy of this new person coming into Aquarius? Okay. Got one there. Let's get one of these to see what, like, their spirit, soul energy is like. Okay. What is their spirit, soul, energy like? Aquarius, new love, singles, sun moon, rise, Venus, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Oh my God, I can speak tonight. <laughs> Did I say Rhinus? <laughs> anyway, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. That's what you get when you try to say rising and Venus all at once. All right. What is, oh, that's too many. I just want one. What is like the spirit, soul, energy? Wow. Okay. I guess we're going to take that one. Take that one since it landed over there. Let's see what their energy is like about love, in love, towards love, how they are in love. Their energy, their love energy. Combined or combine that all together. And then we'll clarify with the tarot. All right. Or Aquarius singles new love what is the love energy of this possible new love new person coming into aquarius their next encounter date next major relationship all right 
And I know we're all under quarantine now, so I guess this this will be whenever we are free from quarantine. Things are much better in the world, and we're able to be social again and date, you know, whatever here. So keep that in mind. Does it mean, okay, this is exactly for May? can be any time. So let's see what the energy of this person is. Moving on. Number eight is about moving on. It's about taking action, travel, communication. So this person may have just moved on from something in their life. May have just moved on from something in their life that was no longer fulfilling for them. So, and then we have siege, siege, I don't know how you say that, quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. So this person definitely could have moved on from something and then they needed alone time here to rest, rejuvenate, heal, think, contemplate about what they've been through, the lessons, the challenges, their future. All right. And then we have here. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. And we have 49 here, which is about 13, which is 4, which is about stability. So, so I think this person really believes in people, you know, their actions speak more than their words do. So whatever I feel like maybe whatever happened to them it could have been a relationship or something like that you know this person could have been lying to their face telling them one thing but they knew exactly what they did what actions they did um which led them to move on but i also believe this person believes in doing the right thing uh showing giving sharing uh love affection not only speaking it but showing it and really paying attention, they really, I think they really pay attention to people's actions more than their words. So, <clears throat> so I think um, that is really important to them. All right, and I feel they feel that's what stabilizes a relationship, like really knowing, like people may say one thing, but what they do, um, what actions they take, really speak loudly rather than what they say. So I think they really pay attention to that. And, you know, they may be somebody who, you know, also they may express themselves through um, actions such as doing little things for you. And may, they could be very affectionate also, you know, giving hugs and kisses and that kind of thing also. So let's see. Let's clarify this person's energy. They could be a very quiet person too. You know, maybe they're kind of shy, maybe not shy, but maybe just kind of laid back and quiet. Maybe they're not like a rowdy kind of person. So that could be their energy too. They're very contemplative. All right, so let's see. I don't think they like like a lot of chaos. Don't think they like that. <clears throat> and that could go with this action speak loudly like chaos and all that kind of stuff. I just don't think um, they're big on that. So, and I feel like there's somebody too, if there's a lot of chaos, I feel like they're out of there, they're gone. <laughs> so let's see, what is this energy? The Four of Pentacles, wow. Yeah, this is someone who likes things slow, steady, stable, quiet um, kind of energy. This person's kind of just sitting there holding on to what they have. Yeah, we have the devil energy here, which can be about toxic kind of energy. Yeah, they hold back from toxic energies. They don't like any kind of toxic energies around them. You know, they turn their back on that energy. They're really not into any kind of that low vibrational energy. Because we do have the princess of cups here, which I believe this is the page. Yeah, it was the page of cups. So this is about loving communication um, being in like a loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, giving, calm, peaceful kind of energy, I think. And we have that right with quiet time. So I do believe this person likes quiet and they like peace and they like calm. They don't like, like this toxic, chaotic energy of any kind. So they may spend a lot of time at home. Um, I'm not saying that they don't go out, but I don't think you're going to find them like rowdy at a bar or any kind of that stuff. Don't think they're into that at all. 
All right, so what else about this person's energy? But you know, this is the page of cups. So this is some, this is that loving communication. So I feel like they are somebody, although they may show how they feel with a lot of gifts or doing little chores or hugs or whatever. I think they do speak with love and compassion also. Now we have the Prince of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords. So for the signs, I'm only gonna go by the King or Queens that we get, so it's not so, con so confusing. So the Prince of Swords, so that is the uh, Knight of Swords, and that is a very um, forceful energy. It's very uh, chaotic. There's that chaotic, chaotic energy. They rush ahead, they rush forward. They may not think, they may cause chaos and trouble and havoc. So let's get one more. And that goes with the action speak loudly. So I think they really pay attention to people, what they do, what their actions are, rather than what people say. All right, so one more. Eight of Wands. So there's a two eights here. So this is fast action travel communication. Yeah, this person, I feel like, doesn't like to be around troublesome people or troublemakers or chaotic energy or anything like that. They're very calm, peaceful. They may be kind of like boring, actually. <laughs> and they may be just like a homebody kind of energy. I mean, they could have walked away from some, from some sort of chaos in their life, whether it was a love situation or whatever here. But, uh, yeah, the Eight of Wands, though, is, um, again, passionate communication, uh, taking action, travel. Over the Internet, airwaves, or something like that. So I do feel like here... Yeah, they don't like any kind of intense energies, you know, chaotic energies, low, vib low vibrational energies. I can't even speak. So it's like they refrain from that energy. They're not into any kind of toxic energy at all. All right. So they may not even like any um, connections that are very, like, codependent and lustful and you know, too intense, they may actually turn their back on that kind of energy or hold back their energy from that kind of connection. They may be somebody who likes their independence also and also likes their person to have their independence. So it's not like too much of a codependent energy. So we do have the seven of wands here. Okay, I think this belongs over here because I didn't ask yet. So this is a very defensive on guard energy. So yeah, I feel like they ward off any kind of low vibrational toxic havoc troublemaking energy because this is being on guard and uh defensive yeah they won't stand for that <laughs> any kind of energy whether it's a lover a person a friend family situation nope they're not going to put up with that okay so let's see about this connection um how you would feel about each other maybe we'll get to see here like how you may meet or something like that i mean you could meet over the internet because the eight of wands is about um communication and that can be uh over the internet or something like that of course in these times <laughs> it would have to be over the internet all right so let's see how you would feel about each other for aquarius and this person please spirit thank you so much the five of wands, so conflicted. So you may feel a little conflicted about this person, or you may think that they have um, competition, or you may have competition. I don't know. Let's see. Five of wands, how you would feel. The two of wands, being at a crossroads. Don't have any court cards yet as two signs here, but let's get one more for your energy. And the three of wands. Wow. So two, three, and five of wands. So, <laughs> the three of wands is waiting for something, waiting for something com to come in, a, you know, a wish to come in, uh, your ships to come in, something meant for you to come in. So I feel like you're waiting, like, for just the right person for you, and being at a crossroads here with the two of wands, but then, so you may feel like uh, you have to fight for this person's connection, uh, attention, or they, you may have competition, or you'll feel internally conflicted, conflicted about this person. 
which leaves you at a crossroads about either wanting to wait for them or is this the right person that I've waited for? So I feel like you're going to feel a little unsure about this person. Like you're not really sure. But we have a lot of wands here, which does speak about passion. So you might have that um, initial attraction in that sense towards them. So let's see how, <clears throat> how this person will feel about you, Aquarius. The chariot. Oh, so they're going to want to... <laughs> They're gonna want to move you forward. They may ask you out on a date, and they want to make, want to, might want to pick you up here, in their car, take you out. But this is about moving forward, positive movement forward, uh, drive, balance, ambition, victory, success. So I think they're gonna want to uh, see where this goes. They're gonna want to move this along, see where it goes, pick you up, take you out. May meet each other like. I don't know, like you're sitting in your car, they're sitting in their car, and you kind of see each other. The Empress, wow, they're going to see you in high regard here as an Empress. Someone who's very uh, stable and grounded, probably dress well, beautiful, elegant. Uh, wow, they're really going to see you and be like, wow, there's my Empress. They got majors on their side. Okay, what's this? But we do have the um, the alchemist here, which is the magician in reverse. So, you know, the magician in reverse. Um, so I feel like I feel like they're going to want to take you out. They're going to see you as somebody very elegant, beautiful, um, a lot of value, worth, and that kind of energy. Want to really, you know, pick you up, take you out, do the right thing in that way. Drive, start to drive this forward, move it forward. But then for some reason, I don't know, they're either going to see you as maybe um, a player or a manipulator even, because the magician in reverse cannot be a good energy. That can be like a manipulator or um, not a good energy or someone not able to manifest something forward. So because you're sitting in this energy, so I think they're going to feel your energy like, gee, I'm not sure. So they're going to know, even though, gee, I really like, you Aquarius, and I want to really do right by you. I want to pick you up. I want to take you out. I want to move this forward. I see you as this beautiful, elegant person. I see in high regard. But I think they're going to know you feel a little unsure about them and not sure, and the, still not sure if this is able going to manifest in something to like a new beginning, because that's what the magician is. A lot of major, I think they may, may feel more for you than them. Um, because they have all majors and you have minors. All right, so let's see. Let's see what the blocks are. It could be, too, that you're very different from them, and that's why you could feel conflicted um, about them also. So let's see what the blocks, challenges could be in this connection for you, Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. Fear, stress, worry, anxiety, the high priestess, uh, gut, intuition, higher knowing, secrets, maybe. Um, the prince, prince of pentacles is the knight of pentacles. This is about, you know, moving slowly, but it's stable, secure, it's grounded. This prince moves forward slowly, cautiously, but he uh, stays till the end. So this person may not tell you that they want to see that they really see a long-term future with you. And the blocks would be getting over stress, fear, fear, worry, and anxiety about this connection. So somebody is going to be stressed about it or have fear about it for some reason. And somebody here is either not going to listen to their gut and their intuition about this, that this could be a long-term partner. What else do we have here? Six of Wands. So this is success, victory, an offer. All right, what else here? The blocks and challenges. The Six of Cups, past life soulmate. Or somebody, could be somebody returning you've known since childhood that maybe you uh, just meet, come, you know, meet out of the blue. Um, we did have the chariot here, so I mean, this could be over the summer. 
And Wands is spring. That would be now, but that wouldn't make sense. We're all in quarantine. So I would say summer or after that energy, perhaps, if we're out of quarantine by then. But uh, the blocks here are not realizing this is a soulmate potential or past life soulmate kind of energy that there can be success victory in this connection if we take things slow practical cautious slow moving this could be a long-term potential here but people may not listen to their gut their intuition um also you know the high priest is about keeping secrets or not revealing everything and with this a block, it could be that this person may say, okay, I want it all with you long-term right away. It may scare you, make you stress out here. So that's what I see for blockages and challenges here. But this does have soulmate potential of some kind because we do have the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands for success victory. And usually that is about an offer. So let's see what the advice or outcome could be in this connection. Well, it's way too many. It's like half the deck. Advice or outcome, this connection. Wow, it's the Ace of Pentacles. And I said that long-term has the potential here for long-term stability, commitment, uh, growth, abundance, prosperity for the long-term. And there's the offer. <laughs> wow. And here's the offer here. Still no court cards. We have a lot of knights and... Uh, pages but no uh kings or queens wow okay we got the queen of cups here so that could be a cancer that's the only sign we have so far but here's the five of pentacles and this is about being lonely rejected left out in the cold um queen of cups so again that cancer energy this is that loving caring nurturing giving kind of energy um very intuitive energy again and then we have the four of swords which is about thinking contemplating and we have that energy right here with quiet time so i guess the advice possible outcome here is there is the potential here for long-term partner stability growth abundance very um grounded energy but somebody may ghost here for a time to really think about what they want how they truly feel in this connection we do have the queen of cups so someone on either side king or queen is going to have love emotions and feelings and the other one i don't know the other one may not that you know one may offer the pentacle and the other one may refuse it may think about it and then refuse it with the five of pentacles it's kind of what i'm seeing here so let's get a couple more just to clarify so we have the prince princess of wands to page of wands so here's the good news with the offer very fiery passionate communication good news like here's my pentacle will you take it but this person's like nope i thought about it nope but the other ones but i love you and so let's see let's see let's get one more the king of cups wow we have a matching couple here so for some some may say no and some may think about it and ghost the other one for a while while they go off on their own and they think and they contemplate about it and then may, some may say yes, and that could be this good news coming in, saying, yes, I accept your pentacle, because we do have a match, matching couple here, which are soulmates. And we did have the Six of Cups, past life soulmates. So now we have the King of Cups, which is Pisces. So we have Pisces and Cancer. So they could be a water sign. Matching couple here. Two people in love who feel the same. And I think it may take one person to really take back their energy and think about it. And then realize, you know what, I think I do have feelings for this person. Realizing, oh, they're my soulmate. So some may accept, some may not. Three of swords, so heartache, pain. So yeah, so some may end it here and leave the other in a hot break. And reject that offer that's coming in. But we do have the knight of wands, so I feel some will move this forward. A lot of drive, passion, ambition. Very um, passionate energy. Because... I feel this is my soulmate, my lover, my person. With the lovers here, we have two cards here of soulmate union. So I think those who turn this away are going to miss out on an opportunity for a true soulmate, twin flame, lover connection. And those who say yes, 
will be happy that they realize they're with their soulmate twin flame here because now we have uh, the king of wands very fiery passionate energy um, this is Sagittarius energy and then we have strength very strong bond between two which will um, having confidence willpower determination taming the beast from within princess of swords page of swords so honest open truthful communication some will be honest and truthful and use that sword to terminate the connection and some will realize uh, the potential here and go after it because this does have potential here for soulmate union for the long term if some here do choose to accept the offer or the pentacle here some may not okay Aquarius who anyway I hope this resonated for you and it depends I guess on the people here and if they're ready for a long-term soulmate if not then some may say no but we do have a match here Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.